It's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul from eBay. So when I see a book that I want to read, say I see it on Instagram or I see it on um, someone else's YouTube channel, um, then the first thing I do is I go to my library's website and if they don't have it, then I'll go to the ebook side of the library website. And if they don't have it, then I usually go to eBay. Now, um, usually on eBay, I buy from Thrift Books, Discover Books, um, Goodwill on eBay. Um, and then I think I just bought one from, I want to say his name was Bennett Books. Um, I had never bought from him on eBay, but he's the one I got this one from. Um, just recently, and this is the one I'm reading right now, currently, um, and <clears throat> I, this was in one of my book hauls just recently, um, so this is my current read, uh, The Most Fun We've Ever Had by Claire Lombardo, and I'm about, mm, not quite halfway through. It's really good. Yeah, I'll be doing a book, uh, review about it later, because I'm not done with it, but yeah, this one was really good. So anyway, the first book that I just recently got, and I got this one from, I want to say Thrift Books on eBay, um, is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm really excited about this book because I have read quite a few of Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I have loved them, except for I didn't like Daisy. Yeah. Daisy and the Six or whatever it was. I didn't like that one. But anyhow, um, I've liked all her other stuff. And uh, I have been on hold for this book, um, ebook at the library for more than six months. So I decided to buy it. <laughs> so I'm not even sure what this is about, but I got it because it's got a lot of hype behind it. So I hope that it lives up to it. This one is about Evelyn Hugo. It says, aging and reclusive Hollywood movie icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. But when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant for the job, no one is more astounded than Monique herself. Why her? Why now? Monique is not exactly on top of the world. Her husband has left and her professional life is going nowhere. Regardless of why Evelyn has selected her to write her biography, Monique is determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career. Summoned to Evelyn's luxurious Manhattan apartment, Monique listens in fascination as Evelyn tells her story. From making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s to her decision to leave show business in the 80s. And, of course, the seven husbands along the way. Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and a great forbidden love. Monique begins to feel a very real connection to the legendary star. But as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in tragic and irreversible ways. Ooh, that sounds good. Have you read this? Woo! I'm excited. That's going in my SBTR. Soon to be red pile. <laughs> and the next book I picked up was Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Same thing. I was on the uh, ebook waiting list at my library forever. And it was never my turn. So, <laughs> I get tired of waiting. So, I bought this one, Thrift Books, on eBay. It says, The heart may hide, but it never forgets. At 13, you are my first real friend. At 15, you are my first love. At 18, you are my everything. We were about to take on the world together until one mistake shattered our future. I'm about to marry a safe man who will never touch my heart whose love would never break me. He doesn't really need me, and that's how I like it. Until one day, I turned around a coffee shop, and there you were. 
It's been 11 years and nothing has changed. I don't know how to forgive you. And worse, I don't know if I can resist you. Ooh. So this is another one that has a lot of hype behind it. I hope it lives up to it. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. And I don't think I've read anything by Christina Lauren. If I have, I don't remember it. Um, but anyway, got that one. And then I got this one called The Sisters by Rosalind Noonan. And I think I seen this on um, someone else's uh, YouTube video. I can't remember now who, who it was. Um, but I have no idea what it's about. It looked good. The cover grabbed me. Like I said, someone, I think someone did like what's on my shelf video or something. And I don't think they actually told about it. Anyway, so let's see what this one's about. Twelve years ago, Glory abandoned her two daughters, four-year-old Ruby and baby Aurora, at a fire station, running off to a man who promised love and protection. Though the refuge she hoped for turned out to be a sham, she believes Ruby and Aurora are better off without her. But Glory has since given birth to another daughter who's clamoring for a life beyond their close-knit, tightly controlled world. 16-year-old Ruby loves her adoptive parents, but she hasn't forgotten Glory. Now that she has her driver's license, Ruby sets out in search of her birth mother. What she finds is a ramshackle house of castaway women, referred to as sisters, ruled over by a charismatic bully who monitors their every move. Glory would take 10-year-old Luna away in a heartbeat if they had somewhere to go. On good days, the girl is confined to the fenced-in yard. On bad days, she's sent to the dusty attic as punishment. When Ruby makes contact, Glory seizes on a chance for escape. Ruby is desperate to help, but how much does she owe to family she barely knows? And how can she fix someone else's life when she has so little power over her own? That sounds really good. I had no idea that's what this is about. Huh. And this, I think this is an older book. Let's see when this was wrote. 2018, so it's not that old. But, yeah. I've never read anything by Rosalind Noonan. Have you? Let me know in the comment section if you've read this book and what you thought about it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, and now on to bookmarks. And you know, if you've seen any other uh, of my videos, you know I have a thing about bookmarks. And I use unusual thing for book, bookmarks. So yesterday we were at, at Walmart. <clears throat> and we actually walked by the baby section. And I see the hair bands. Yeah, headbands. So I ended up picking up this little three pack of these little um, hair bands for babies to use for bookmarks. And let's see. I haven't tried it on any of the books yet. Let's see how it will work. It only has stretchy on this back side, I notice. It doesn't have it on the front side. So I'm not sure. Okay, so it will fit this book. Look how cute that is. So cute. Let's see if it'll fit this book. Okay, so it barely fits a bigger um, paperback, but it did. So it's definitely not going to fit um, a hardback. So it was a stretch on this one, but it fit. So basically, it's going to fit more this size. Um, so, I mean, I like them. They're cute. Aren't they cute? I thought they were cute. So I picked those up for bookmarks. My husband is so funny. He's like, what are you getting those for? Are you getting a baby gift for somebody? And I was like, no, I'm going to use them for bookmarks. And he's like, oh. <laughs> It's okay. He knows I'm weird. So it's fine, really. <laughs> and then at Target, I got a new shirt. And Knox Rose is the brand name. Um, I love Knox Rose. I usually find that at Goodwill. I didn't know it was a Target brand, but it is. But anyway, I got a new shirt. And this was um, the tag on it. And I'm going to use that for a bookmark. Why not? It'd be cute, right? And it would just go right in there. And then you have your little ribbon hanging out there. Why not? I thought it was cute. 
I mean, free, hello. <laughs> you know, hey, it's the little things, people. It's the little things. So that's all I have for today. If you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And check out my other channel, Read Along with Aunt Ninny, where I read children's books. Um, and I have over 650 videos over there. So if you have little ones, head over there. They will really like it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box below for that channel. And also, let me know where you buy books. Do you buy books at Goodwill? Like I do? Goodwill, eBay, garage sales, um, thrift stores, uh, used bookstore? Or do you buy just new ones, like from Barnes & Noble? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, that's all I have for today, friends. I'll see you next time.